What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gmanica 2 Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So we have been working towards getting this creative fluid tank for the last few episodes. This is going to allow us to do a lot of stuff once we're able to craft this thing. Uh, but yeah, we still need to get a few more items in order to actually craft this. So we're missing three of the fluid tanks here. Now, the thing I didn't notice about clicking on this recipe, like when you are in JEI and you just click on this, it brings you to this first tab, which shows you that you can clear out the tank, I assume is what this is for. Uh, but if you're actually staring at the ultimate crafting table, like you're on this screen, and then you click this, it brings you up to that recipe without having to do that extra click. I thought that was kind of nice. I saw that fluid transposers are part of the recipe too. So I was like, huh, I wonder if that works on a fluid transposer. So I came downstairs and I looked at one of these fluid transposers. Yeah, fluid transposer. You can set it to empty or fill. Both of those modes show up. But clicking on this does not bring you to that page. So I guess there must be something specifically coded for the ultimate crafting table when you're looking at that and then you open up a recipe. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, um, so yeah, we need to get ourselves ethanol, we need to get tree oil, and we need to get ourselves primal mana. All of those we need 32 buckets of. Uh, now tree oil, I do believe you get from a arboreal extractor on a certain tree. I think if we come over here, we have this guy, which contains resin. Yeah, so if we look up resin, in in jei here we can see that resin gets put into a fractioning still and turned into tree oil yep so tree oil is what we're looking for we need to process a whole bunch of resin we need twice i guess we need 60 buckets of uh resin in order to turn into the amount of tree oil that we need and it looks like we have way more than enough so i'll go ahead and grab this guy and we will put it through our fractioning still which we've used previously in order to get whatever, what were those things called? Rosins? Yeah, we need rosin for something earlier on. I don't remember what it was for. Uh, maybe it was for the Signalum cell frames. Anyway, let me go ahead and put that through a fractionating still. We'll start filling up a tank full of the tree oil, and we'll be right back. All right, well, that was pretty easy. Uh, I did have to make a new fractionating still. I'm not actually sure what happened to the one that we had before because I know we've used it to make this rosin stuff, but I looked everywhere and I couldn't find our previous fractionating still. It got deleted somehow. I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, we put the resin into the fractionating still. It produced a whole bunch of rosin. We ended up with extra tree oil, and now we have a tank full of the, the amount of tree oil that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and take this resin back. I don't think we actually need that at the moment, but I would like to continue to collect more if we can, because who knows how much of this we need in the future. So I'll just drop that off right there. Yep. And then we will put more of our uh, resin back into the tank for later. And that area is chunk looted over there, so it's always running. Um, so yeah, we have our tree oil now. We can add that to here. And that goes into... Uh, yeah, right here on the far left hand side. Cool. All right, so that's done. So, ethanol, uh, ethanol, ethanol, ethanol. Okay, so we needed to get a tank full of this stuff. Now, in order to get this, we need a biomass, and it looks like it is uh, 10 to 3 is how much you get. You can do it through a still as well if we want to use forestry 10 to 3, or this way, same ratio, it looks like. So we need to get cyclic biomass in order to do that. Uh, yes, yeah, biomass from cyclic on both of these recipes. We'll probably just use our fractionating still again. Uh, so biomass, it looks like we get that through a melter. You can use a lily pads, carrots, uh, vines, cactus, shrubs. Looks like some of them give different amounts. Uh, carrots gives 100, so that might be the best one. Uh, apples give 100. So either apples or carrots seem to be pretty good for this we can also use the fermenter again if we want to use forestry uh honey grape juice apple juice it seems like yeah there's so many recipes like this is the way i've done it before i want to kind of use this melter because i haven't used this before at least i don't think i have do we have a melter have we ever yeah i don't think we've ever used that in this series so let's do melter if i can spell it right melter uh yeah this guy place over lava to melt items i don't know how fast or slow this is but it's easy enough for us to craft it 
Okay, so we need a place for some lava. Let's grab some cobblestone, I guess. And then a bucket. I'm sure we can time in a bottle to speed this up if it is quite slow. I don't know. All right, so we'll place down a couple, 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 and then a backer. All right, so lava and this guy here. Okay, so it looks like it's gaining heat. I don't know how much heat it needs. It says heat too. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's grab a carrot. Let's see how this works. Put a carrot in there and... Well, we got 200 out of it. I thought it only gives you 100. Okay, well, I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but that's fine. Let's grab a few stacks of carrots. We'll just throw that in here, let it do its thing. Wait, now it's stopped. Why did it stop? Okay, if you put more than one stack of carrots in there, it stops. What? <laughs> okay, I don't understand how that works, but, you know, we'll just go with it. So, always on, recipe unlocked, requires redstone, always on. All right, and if we do this, anything bad happen? No, it looks like just good things happen. All right, that works for me. So we'll just continue to keep this thing stocked full of carrots. We will get the biomass that we need. Uh, if it's three to one, we're gonna need 96 buckets of biomass in order to still that out. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue messing with this and then we will get ourselves our biomass. All right, so our ethanol is now in here. Yep, we have two new things today, ready to go. Uh, the next step, uh, I want to get the primal mana. That's the last one that was down here. And it looks like primal mana, in order to make this, requires IC2 coolant. And it's one-to-one -one for IC2 coolant. And I was kind of doing the math here, and it looks like it's one ingot per bucket of the Osco gloss, and same thing for the Mirian. So we need 32 buckets of the primal mana, which should mean that we need 32 ingots of both of these. So I have 32 ingots of both of those ready to go. And then we are going to need 32 buckets of the IC2 coolant. So that's just a portable tank full, like an un, uh, unupgraded portable tank. So we should just be able to grab this IC2 coolant that we have over here. All right. And we should just be able to put this one on top of it and then drain it in there. And that should be exactly 32 buckets. Perfect. All right. So we are ready to go on this. And then we just need to add that into our smeltery and have that all smelted. Uh, so I think the best way, hmm, how have I done this before? I can't remember if I did it on this one or not, but if I place this here, I, maybe it's not this one, uh, but we want to insert on brown. So if I do extract on brown, always active, we should drain all 32 buckets into here. All right, I don't know if we're gonna have enough to do <laughs> what we want here. Let's just put eight of each of those in there. Maybe they will alloy up. Let's check that out. And that goes in there. Oh, just fine. Yeah, we'll be able to put all of this stuff in there. No worries. All right, put that in there as well. And we should have 32 buckets of the primal mana. Perfect. All right, so we did everything correctly here. Get rid of that, put our lever back. Uh, Actually... Do I want to put my lever back? Yeah, we'll put the lever back here. Uh, so what we want to do now is not insert on green. We want to insert... Well, actually, I guess we do want to insert on green, but we don't want to insert here on green. So I'll turn that off. We want to make sure this is inserting on green, which it is. And then if we do this, we should fill up 32 buckets right here. Perfect. All right. So there we go. There's our primal mana. All right. So we want to turn that back off and make sure this is set to insert on green once again. And we're good to go. Awesome, so that's pretty easy. So there we go, there's our primal mana, our tree oil, and our ethanol. All right, so now we can move on to some of these other fluids that we still need here. So tectonic petrothium, we get that by doing petrothium dust in a magma crucible. I believe we already have that on auto craft, don't we? Let's take a look. Yeah, we have that on auto craft, so that's not anything to worry about. Uh, Gelicryothium and resonant ender is all gonna be the same kind of a deal. So gelicryothium, we just melt some of that down. And the uh, resonant ender, you just melt down ender pearls. Yep, we can do all that. What else? Essence bucket. We've seen how to turn XP into essence before, so I'll do that. Uh, Zephyrian erothium, same thing as the other ones, just that erothium dust melted down. Okay, blazing pyrothium, same thing. So molten draconium, uh, magma crucible, draconium ingots. We have all the draconium, 
Molten Demon Metal. You do that in... How do you melt that down? Okay, so that's got to be done in the smeltery. Not a problem. We can do that. And finally, the Empowered Oil. I think that might be something we have to do a little bit of a setup. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these things done that we can easily do. Yeah, all this stuff here. The only thing that we have to worry about will just be this one, and we'll do that here in a moment. All right, guys, so we are in the process of continuing to do this, and I am looking to make this Molten Demon Metal Bucket. Okay, so in order to make Molten Demon Metal, as we saw before, uh, we can do it in the smeltery by putting a demon ingot into the smeltery. It does say it requires 1,850 for the temperature. Lava didn't seem to work. If we put lava in here, uh, it says temperature 1,000. If we put that in there, uh, it doesn't work. Okay, so I was thinking that we would put in blazing pyrothium. If we put blazing pyrothium in there, it still doesn't even show that we have that in there. It just says lava. So I guess pyrothium isn't even a fuel that you can use in this mod pack. Let's try to go ahead and break the controller. I'll put it back. Uh, fuel, no fuel found. If I do this, it... Oh, now it works. Okay, blazing pyrothium, temperature 5,000. All right, so if I do that, now it's smelting. Okay, yeah, before, as you saw, when I put the uh, <laughs> blazing pyrothium in there, it still said fuel lava, and then it... Anyway, so it wasn't working. Uh, I was getting super confused trying to figure out how we're going to get a bucket of this stuff if we can't even melt it down. Uh, I would have ended up just choosing one of these other methods, like a high oven melting or melter, I don't know, whatever. But thankfully, this just works this way. Okay, so I should be able to right-click onto here and get a bucket. There is a bucket's worth in here, right? Eight ingots? One bucket? Okay, uh, apparently I can't do that. So if we put a bucket in here and we pour that out, does that make the bucket? How do I get that fluid out of here? Hmm, I guess I gotta pour it into like a casting tank or whatever, basin? One of these things? We gotta try that. Oop, where'd that go? Come here. Let's put it into here, pour into that. This is set to extract on green active with signal. We're giving it a signal. Oh, it is in here now. Okay. Uh, so if I right click with a bucket, I cannot get that. Okay, so do I have to put that into like a fluid transposer maybe? All right, so we can try this again. We got a fluid transposer set to input from the top. We do that, we get the molten demon metal and there we go, okay. <laughs> There's our molten demon metal bucket. Wow, that was kind of a pain to do. It seems like a pretty straightforward thing, but yeah, it just didn't, oh, that's lava. It just did not want to work correctly. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so now that we have that, let's get rid of this one and this one. So empowered oil is the next one that we need. So we need this empowered oil itself. So we have to take empowered canola and put it into crystallized oil. So we need both empowered canola and crystallized. And the crystallized oil you get by taking crystallized canola and putting it into refined canola oil. Refined canola oil we get by taking canola oil in a fractionating still. And then we can do that. Okay, so I guess that is our next step is to get canola oil and we get that with, I guess we're going to use this squeezer because I don't want to set up the industrial squeezer. Uh, we'll use the forestry squeezer and squeeze canola. Do we have canola? We have some. So if there's a, if we don't have enough, how much do you get per? Let's actually find out. Uh, so each one of these gives us 80 and if we take that, it is one to one into refined canola, and the refined canola is one to one to the crystallized, and we are looking for empowered, so crystallized, yeah, one to one into that. So the empowered canola looks like we need to either do it on the empowerer, canola seeds, with a crystallized in the center, and the crystallized, you laser it. Okay, well, all of this is pretty simple. Let's do canola seeds, let's get these things made. So a canola seed, oh, in front of the laser, that would be over here. Ooh, uh, turn the magnet off. Item dislocator deactivated. Okay, so if I come over here, I should be able to, mm, see if I can push an item on there. Did that, yeah, that worked. Okay, so we got that. I'll put the glass back over here. Cool, so we have our crystallized canola. And then I should be able to empower that. Uh, I guess we can do it on this. It, should, it said that it worked in either one of these, right? 
pretty sure it said that we could do it this way or we could do the other method, but I think this should just work. Yeah, cool. Okay. So we'll get ourselves the empowered canola. Well, I'll go ahead and get some of this canola process. We'll turn that into the refined canola oil and then we'll continue on. All right. So we take our refined canola and we have to toss in uh, a crystallized canola. So I made a second one of these. So we just cue that in there and that just turns it right into the crystallized oil. So we take down, we put in the empowered canola and now we get ourselves the empowered oil bucket. And that's what we were looking for. Okay. So now we have all of that stuff ready to go back over to here. Yeah. Empowered oil. All right. So if we add that to our thing, we should be there. Awesome. Oh my goodness, guys. It's been like what? Three episodes. We've been working on this now. Creative fluid tank and we get to keep all the buckets. So that's really cool. So we don't get a quest complete for doing that, huh? No quest complete for making that. Oh, actually, it looks like I have to make this guy and then this guy, and then we get the quest complete for that. Interesting. Okay, so creative RF, this might be the next thing we're gonna work on. So let's take a look at creative power cell. Uh, okay, ultimate ingots and ultimate Mm, rainbow generator oh boy oh boy i'll have to take a look at this and see if there's anything here that's gonna really get us this californium rtg this might take a minute to do this is the part of the packs where nuclear craft really goes into what i call jei hell so we want to make ourselves californium rtg right so that is made with just some normal nuclear craft stuff and some extreme reactor stuff, whatever. Uh, I guess you can also use the nuclear craft graphite ingot, but you need this Californium 250 or 250 oxide. So 250 comes from the tiny clumps of Californium 250, and you get those from a fuel reprocessor of depleted three different types of fuels. So I guess it's actually two. I don't know why it shows these ones twice, but it does... LEF or H E C F. Oh yeah. L those are two different types. They look the same, but they are different anyway. So <laughs> we need to get a depleted H E B two, four, eight. And when you do that, you get some Californium 250, 251, 252, and I guess another pile of 252. So this comes from the depleted, I guess that's the oxide. So we wanted this depleted one, which you get from a fission reactor from doing the HEB248 fuel, and you get that from doing Berkelium 247 and 248 together. Like, this is so crazy trying to figure this out. So you get to this stuff, and then that comes from an isotope separator of this LEB248 fuel, and you get that from this 247, and uh, like, it's just, you gotta keep going through JEI and digging down and digging down, and it gets crazy. Uh, but yeah, pretty much, I think what's going to happen here, I kind of was going through and I wasn't bookmarking everything, but I think what really has to happen here is we need to make the, uh, uranium. Uh, let's see if we take uranium, the, this stuff, we can turn that into some kind of a fuel pellet. I don't remember what the recipe was. Not this one. I think, oh man, it turns into a bunch of these, doesn't it? I think it's this LEU stuff. So if we look at this. Um, and then we, yeah, the, the, the depleted LEU two, three, three, that gives us plutonium and some americium and that stuff turns into this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's pretty much, I'm going to have to go through here, spend about 10 hours trying to figure out the recipes and how they all work with each other and then figure or get all the, uh, crafting stuff so we can get up to this Californium. <laughs> this is so crazy. Uh, but one thing that we can do is we can melt that down, right? Once we get it and then we can, uh, solidify that somehow I'm sure in a ingot former. Yeah. So we can put this into our creative fluid tank, make all of that. And then we have unlimited of the Californium that we need. The problem is trying to get there. And that's the part that we got to work on. So I'm going to spend a bunch of time here making a whole lot of recipes, being super confused and frustrated, trying to figure out how we get from uranium to Californium, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And then we'll be right back guys. 
All right, guys, so I went back to an old episode, back to episode 74, where we had set up our uh, nuclear craft fission reactor. We had set it up all the way over on the other side. Uh, so I looked at that. I figured out how to get this thing hooked back up since it's been a while since we last messed with this thing. And, yeah, I started getting recipes going in here, and then I uh, had our fuel reprocessor, which we have hooked up, I think, over here somewhere. One of these is the fuel reprocessor. Yeah. Uh, so I started putting in recipes over here, and then I looked in <laughs> our uh, applied energistic system, and sure enough, we have Californium 250 already. So this, we don't actually have to make this. Yeah. Uh, we needed one of those isotopes in order to make the Californium RTG, and instead of trying to figure out how all of this works, I'm just going to take the easy route and not do this. I believe we got this Californium 250 from the dragon hordes and stuff around. Yeah, that's something that we had to deal with earlier on in the playthrough, the dragons and their stashes uh, with all the gold and treasure chests and things like that. Yeah, so we must have found Californium at some point. I'm good. I, I'm not going to do anything else with this. This is such a pain trying to get through. I tried going from uranium forward. I tried going from Californium backwards. Like, this is really a pain trying to figure out how to get from one place to the other in nuclear craft. Uh, so anyway, the Californium 250, we can put that into, um, I guess, a melter? Isn't that what you do? Let's take a look. Um, Californium, grab this. The use is on this. It says that we can put into a melter so we can get a fluid out of it. That's what we want. And then we want to put that fluid into our creative fluid tank. That's what we really want to do. So melter, do we even have one of these? I'm sure we do somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. Are one of these a melter? No. I know we've made melters before. <laughs> melter. Uh, let's do at nuclear craft melter. Okay. So I don't have any of these parts. So we need advanced plating. We need four of those. Easy enough. We need to get ourselves a servo mechanism. Make one of those. And then we need nether bricks and machine chassis. Okay, and then uh, nether brick. We have that on auto craft. Cool. So we have everything ready to go here. We should be able to make a melter. And then we're going to want to get the uh, power upgrades. What are they called? No, speed upgrade. All right, so speed upgrade, energy upgrade as well. All right, so now we have everything ready to go for this melter. So this is going to be like a one-time use thing, so I'm not going to try and set up any kind of a crazy thing for it. So we do that, we melt this down. Okay, so now I want to get myself like a reservoir from thermal. Uh, can I just right click on here? Okay, so now I have the molten, or molten Californium. Uh, all right, so now we need to get ourselves like some kind of a tank. How about we grab one of these portable tanks? This should be fine. And then we need to get ourselves this creative fluid tank. I don't know how you get fluid out of this thing. I'm just going to use conduit. Place that there, this on top. We'll extract, always active, and this will be insert. And if I click this onto here, cool. Now we have all sorts of Californium 250. <laughs> that is so much better than what we were trying to do. And according to this, we have a whole lot of Californium in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can change the tank just by clicking other fluids on there. Let me try clicking water. Uh on the bottom maybe gotta break it i know there's a way to clear the fluid out of it uh do that oh yeah okay so you put it into the crafting grid you can clear it out and then you can click another fluid on there there we go okay so that's how you do it awesome all right so we have uh all the californium that we need now we need to i guess turn that into an ingot so back to this thing and then we do that through an ingot former so we need ingot which we don't have, so I will make one of those. 
All right, so the ingot former with the Californium on there, we just poured that right into here. We got ourselves the ingots. Yep, it just goes really quick, especially when you put the uh, speed upgrades in there. So I'll just go ahead and turn all this stuff that we can into this Californium. I don't know if we need this much, but you know we can always go back and make more if we need more. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, cool. So now we have plenty of this stuff. Yeah, let's get rid of it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through and delete all these different patterns that I made. Oh boy. So we wanted to make the Californium RTG. So we needed graphite ingots, advanced platings. Let's get into this thing so we can do it. This guy, this guy. And then we needed, uh, how many do we need actually? I'm not entirely sure. So this requires us to have four of them. Okay, so we actually need another 12 of these plates. And then uh, graphite. Let's do this. We will make 16 of those. That should be quite quick. Cool. All right. So now we have these guys. Now these Californium RTGs, they produce 750 RF per tick all of the time. Yep. So you can extract 750, I think it's per side. If you want something that's just constantly trickle charging stuff. I mean, we don't really need that. Ooh. Okay, uh, I completed the challenge, end of the line. I guess getting the Californium RTG is like the end of nuclear craft. And we kind of just skipped ahead to the uh, front of the line there, which I am perfectly okay with. Um, <laughs> all right, so we have that. Uh, the next hardest thing to get, maybe these ultimate induction providers. Uh, actually, the rainbow generator is probably going to be the next hardest. Let's take a look at that. So a rainbow generator, in order to get that, we do need these opinium cores. We need rainbow generator top and bottom and a draconic flux capacitor. Oof. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff to get this. And we have to have two of these, right? Yeah, it's two of the rainbow generators. Now, there is a quest line, if I remember correctly, for doing this. So we go extra utilities. Uh, yeah, there's a whole quest line here in order to get to the rainbow generator. So we're going to have to do all of that. The top half requires all of these different generators plus uh, resonating redstone crystal. Mm -hmm. And the bottom half, same thing. The other generators plus another one of those. And all of those together combines the top and the bottom half. And then this recipe has obviously been modified from default. So we're going to need a pinium core good, which is coarse flower emeralds. And then a pinium core decent and passable and mediocre and pathetic. And it all starts here at the red coal around iron block. So this stuff I'm definitely going to make patterns for. In fact, I'm probably going to make patterns for all of these different generators. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that all off camera. Yep, now with the access that we have to that creative tank, I went ahead and I filled up our primal mana back here so we don't have to worry about that. And I filled up our liquid DNA so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yep, so we got a lot of that stuff going on. So I made patterns for all of the different generators. Like we come over here and we look for rainbow generator. Yeah, I got patterns for all of these different things and I crafted each one of these manually and put them into my inventory. So the uh, quest book knew that we had made them. In fact, we had to make one extra one. Uh, the disenchantment generator, that's not part of the rainbow generator, but it was required for me to craft that in order to complete this quest and to have this quest available. So while I was waiting on all this stuff to process, it did take a while for all of that. I made uh, each one of these different fluid storages. We had already made our gargantuan drum previously. We had a recipe in the system for it, but we never put the other previous tiers in our inventory. So I put, or I made these three, put them in my inventory, completed that. I completed these manually and then I made ethereal glass, which all we need was just a moonstone, which we made that plenty of times before. So now we have a bunch of quests complete. So if I do rainbow generator and if I just place that in my inventory here, that'll complete the final quest. Cool. So all of these are done. We will choose the middle loot chest and I will click this button and we'll get a whole bunch of stuff here that we probably don't need oh boy cobwebs and doors was this one we're gonna signal them pipes builder i mean i guess that's all right let's put some of these things away if we can okay so no more sound all right so we get tape measure oh these aren't auto filling for some reason hopefully they will uh hang glider insanium essence hey that's not bad actually uh all right so food items wonton soup mob imprisonment tools i don't think we're going to get anything here that's going to be like really good endearium turbine 
Yeah, we never did mess with the Advanced Generators mod. I wonder if that would have done us pretty well earlier on in the pack. Light blue concrete, we get uh, food, more food, energy acceptor. Okay, that's not bad. Don't need it, but not bad. Fozic resonator. Oh, that completes a quest. Awesome. Don't have to make that now. Neutron collector. Hey, actually two of them. Not that we need them anymore, but that's kind of cool that that is a possibility. Uh, cow in a jar. More food. We get more food and a book and quill. All right. Well, at least one book and quill. Yeah, only one. All right. So all this stuff out of the inventory. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so much stuff. All right, and that takes care of that. Awesome. Okay, so we now have, well, this, this, that. This is done. Cool. So we are trying to make the creative power cell. We have today created the Californium RTGs and we created the rainbow generators. Now things like the ultimate induction provider and ultimate induction cell, we already have an auto craft because we've been using that for our matrix already. Uh, Draconic Energy, I think we have that on Autocraft. Yeah, we have those on Autocraft. Uh, what else do we have here that might be crazy? Ultimate Catalyst. Uh, we do have to make more Ultimate Ingots. Uh, this does require us to have 20 of those, at least for the ones displayed here. Plus, I think, yeah, we need uh, an additional 8 more Ultimate Ingots. We only have 12, so we don't have enough to do that anyway. Whoops. Uh, so back into here. Dilithium we can make, Benotite we can make, Angel Sight we can make, Elite, that's fine. Resonance Cell Frames, those are going to take a minute to craft all of those, but we can do it. So, uh, and then Energy Cell Frames as well, oh boy. So lots of stuff to craft, and then Solar Array Tier 4, Solar Array, uh, and then 2 Tier 5s. I don't think we made any of the Solar. Did we make Solars? We have all the way up to a tier three. No, we have a tier five here, but we don't have tier fours in all craft. So that'll be something that we'll have to look at doing for next time. So hopefully next time we'll be able to make that new creative power cell item. <laughs> so that'll be pretty fun. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.